And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Esper Mill in Best of One. All right, so what we're going to be doing here is we're playing Esper Control where we have Ashiok for a finisher. This was a deck that I have played before in Best of Three. Uh, we did this, this was a donation deck um, about a month ago or so. Um, but basically, it was, yeah, because it was before... Yeah, so maybe a little bit more. It was before uh, Field of the Dead was banned, and a lot of people were playing Field of the Dead. And so having the four main deck Ashioks were just awesome in the Field of the Dead matchup. Um, but basically, Esper Control has you know a lot of really good control stuff, but maybe actually winning games is kind of problematic at times, or you know it doesn't have like the best win condition now with, with five minutes of Fairy gone. Um, and that's what the Ashioks are for. They're for just... Um, Basically being a win condition. Doesn't really interact with the opponent at all. It just removes four cards in the top of their library um, each turn. And, you know, you just try to activate it a good amount to get rid of their library. Um, you can get stuff like Cauldron Familiar exiled or, you know, flashback spells. There's some things to do there. Um, what we're trying to... The reason why we're playing this deck here in Best of One is we're going to be targeting the Fires of Inventions decks with this where the Fires of Inventions decks, you know, they want to play a longer game. They want to have all of their cards. Um, they have, like, really good targets to exile. And so that's hopefully what we get to do is, is you know, play Ashiok and start uh, getting rid of their cards and, you know, make, hopefully um, make them have enough, not enough cards to actually kill us. <clears throat> also, because we're targeting the Fires of Invention decks, which there are a lot of in Best of One, we're playing two unmoored egos in the main deck. That's right, because it's it's just best of one. So we're playing two unmoored egos over here. We can play it. We can name like Fey of Wishes, so they don't get to do all their Fey of Wishes stuff, or you know the Cavaliers, or you know Fires of Invention, or just just whatever. Even against Cauldron Familiar decks, we can just name Cauldron Familiar and get them out of here, or Witches Oven, or Trail of Crumbs, or you know like we'll just have a, a couple unmoored egos. There's a good chance they won't be um, that great, but maybe they will be. You never know. So we're going to play them. Um, also, like, the Narsets are really good against, like, the Blue Cavalier and things like that. Um, we got a, a couple of removal spells for Fires with a Mortify and a Dispark. Um, but then besides that, so, like, that's kind of, like, our, our plan there. But then you also face a lot of aggro as well. And so hopefully this deck can still just be good enough against aggro. Esper usually is. You know, you get a whole bunch of Othakayas and pair them with Teferi, bouncing your Othakayas and stuff. And then, of course, our Kaya's Wraths. Murderous Rider is just a good removal spell. So hopefully we have just like enough removal and everything for, for aggro decks anyway. Um, and we can afford to play like these Unmoored Egos and Ashioks in those matchups also. And then plus our top end, our, our card that, that also helps pull us ahead, we have a Dovin Architect of Law where that plus ability is really important. Draws us a card every turn. You know, we want to be able to draw that card every turn. It's kind of like five mana to fairy. Um, but then instead of untapping two lands, we get to gain two life. So we, that helps us stabilize, gain that life, um, and, uh, take over the late game. So that's our plan. We'll see if the plan works out. Plans don't always work out as our decks today have showed us, but that's all right. So we're playing best of one. Of course, today being best of one day, Monday. Um, so we're going to be playing seven games over in Ranked with our deck. And we'll see if we can improve upon our 98%. we got to get that other 2%. We don't want, we don't want whole milk or skim milk. we got to get that other 2%. You're calling a 6-1? Nice. <laughs> Watch, we're going to get nothing but 250 card meme decks. <laughs> that would be bad. Hmm. 
So I'm not going to let them be able to pick their edge wall innkeeper back up. The past, present, and future keep an open mind. And I don't really mind too much if they want to Conclave Tribunal the Narset. I'm fine with that. Reckless and ill-defined. Okay, it does not look like they want to. It's possible they have another Shepherd of the Flock. I wonder what you fear most. Oh, raise the alarm? Raise the alarm can be a problem. Yeah, we're going with the Planeswalker deck. Planeswalker here. It's a good one, too. I must stay focused. That's fine. All right, time to draw those cards. I hope they don't have another Conclave Tribunal for the Dovin. I'm scared of them picking up Edgewall Innkeeper if I try to Murderous Rider it. Oh, you've been playing a lot of Dovin. You've been, you've been playing Dovin a lot since seeing me use it. And can't emphasize how much love you have for that card now. Nice. Yeah, it's it's honestly just a just a good card. It's really underrated. Multiple unbreakable formations, huh? Okay, well. All right, so plan, upkeep, destroy, innkeeper. They get unbreakable formation to save it, but then that basically taps them out. It's during their upkeep, they don't get to, it doesn't put a counter on their creatures. And 
And now I owe to Kaya. Kill the... Kill the innkeeper. I have just the trick for this. Definitely kind of feel like I should be killing uh, Like I should be killing the guide mother because we have the Narset that keeps them from drawing extra cards. <laughs> wow, what a top deck call. <laughs> we have so much life now because of this Dovin. Cannot see your folly. Meditate and prepare. Let's slow this down. I've got time. Hmm. What they would have that would be really scary? March of the Multitudes? Is that even scary? <laughs> we need a Pride Mate Dovin deck. <laughs> All right. There we go. Esper Mill. Teferi, of course, shuts down the Unbreakable Formation. And we're one and out. We have a winning record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Dovin and Standard. Underrated card. So an Azorius life gain control with Dovin and a Johnny Walkers. Yeah, that could be interesting. Yeah, it was from the Ravnica Allegiance dual deck. It was from the Planeswalker dual deck. Too scared. Sitting there alone. I move a muscle when I try. So of course that that card's not really a problem. A bunch of haste creatures is definitely a problem. That's how 
we lose this, it's going to be because of all the haste creatures. That's that's how we could lose this. We won't answer the other kids. Put thoughtfulness before action. I need these murderous riders. Wow, triple murderous rider down to the bottom. Sweet. All right, well, that was easy enough. I guess Esper does have a good win condition. You just play three man to fairy. <laughs> you need a life gain deck with Circle of Loyalty. So it can be a Circle of Life deck. I like it. Bleh. It's like my worst land by far. Well, I mean, it's, it's good at casting Kaya's Wrath. It's not good at casting anything in my hand. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess we keep it. With this, I, I can cast Thought Erasure, then play this, play Othakaya, and then this goes and grabs a blue source, and I can have Narset and Murderous Rider. Ooh, all these Burglar Rats are so good. Opponent's hand looks sweet. That's going to be a tough one to beat. Ugh. Midnight Reaper? Dang. I definitely wanted to take Burglar Rat. Can't play Reaper this next turn. The problem with getting Basic Island is it doesn't let me cast Kai's Wrath. Yeah, I don't think I should get Basic Island. Well, darn. We would have drawn a land. I could have discarded this other one. All right, what else we got over here? Man, these cards are good against control. Rankle, Basilica Bellhaunt, Burglar Rat. Whole bunch of Midnight Reapers. Whole bunch of Basilica Bellhaunts, Charming Princes to flicker them. So much value. So much value.
This is this is like my best top deck later on, but oh, they don't they didn't make me discard it. Come on, no discard. No discard and then we draw land. No discard. Well then. Unfortunately, Midnight Reaper is great. I like my opponent's deck a lot. Got me. No shame in losing that one. No shame in losing that one at all. There you go, Gruel Seasons. You made a 1315 Dreadhorde Arcanist. Nice. Okay. Keep. I would prefer let's say I prefer a another land that we could have like the tyrant scoring on turn two and then the Teferi or Narset, but alright, so it looks like looks like a control mirror. Usually dismal backwater means that. But not always. Frenchy fries, second month. I'm known for my excellent timing. Thank you so much, there, Frenchy fries. Might be a bad idea. Our eleventh of the day. Okay, so our twenty-six land deck. We haven't seen a land yet. Doesn't mean that we're not going to see a land, but just haven't seen one yet. And we had a couple of scry bottoms. Trust me, I have a plan. I should do this during their draw step, but whatever. Ooh. Definitely should have done it during draw step. Card's good. It gets rid of fires of invention. I don't have lands. Can't keep it. Right at the top. Jealous. Time for plan B. Here we go. So we've seen eight cards and no lands. Only I could respond and kill that first. But I can't. I will remake the multiverse in my image. Or defy 
arrogance is infuriating. My intellect is hey, Dr. K. limit. Well, that didn't pan out. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So zero cards and nine, zero lands and nine cards so far. Stop that now! Here goes nothing. Ten cards, zero lands. So I wanted I want to be able to respond to my opponent picking up Fae of Wishes, but there doesn't seem like they're too interested in picking up Fae of Wishes. I'm getting too old for this. All right, well, I guess I need. I want to play this Ashiok. They kept that card on top. I want to play the Ashiok and mill them. Yeah, ideally. Yeah, look at that. I am your great. Narset. Ideally, we would have had more mana, and you know, been able to do two things. Let's try this. Like, like you know, play an Ashiok and hold up a Tyrant Scorn. Those who cannot just keep an open mind. Must be nice to have all this mana. All right, I'm over it. We'll still. Try to win this one. That was a great draw. Let's get rid of the Fae of Wishes. Yeah. All right, what else they got in here? So basically just... So without Fey, they have one nickel, one lily, two lily, two nickel. So two nickel, two lily, and two enter the god eternals. Oh my gosh! I didn't take the Fey from the from the library. Man, even when things go right, they don't go right. And obviously, they just immediately draw it. Why not? I have just Focus on, on get, you know, saying the other things and just, you know, kind of clicked done that, you know, I was done looking. So you don't have to be rude. It's unnecessary. So 
what do I need a murderous rider? I guess it's just the the nickel bolus. But yeah, that's that's obviously just gonna cost me this. That's obviously my fault. Meditate and prepare. Well, I had this, and I gave it away. Throughout the multiverse. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how we do here. Okay, the second black source so I can murderous rider on three. Um, what do I think of the new secret drop series? I yeah, I don't. I basically haven't really paid attention to it at all. I don't really have too much information about it or, or interest in it. So I don't I don't really know anything about it or or anything. Yep, that's the that's the perils of of uh, streaming. Sometimes I do that, you know, I'm just talking and trying to, you know, trying to talk through something and um, then, yeah, I just, just forget to click that other card. Just miss that as I'm talking and playing. It happens. All right, so obviously this is not really the matchup that our deck is built for. It's built for the previous matchup that I decided not to win. So Scampering Scourger's a real annoyance. I'm actually pretty glad they played the 10 Street Dodger here and not just playing the other Cavalcade that let me use that 2 mana and then untap and then have these. Um, we could Ashiok and start milling, but I think I want to try to find like... That's actually a good one. I want to find like Dovin. Rimrock Knight? I don't want that land. I don't... Yeah, Historic's still real new and everything. I, I don't think there's necessarily anything that needs help in Historic right now. It's still very new. Oh yeah, we have like all the all the Othakayas. Thing to fear. I adore an audience. Oh, 
whole bunch of Bone Crusher Giants. And even more Scampering Scourgers. Well, I'll take Chandra because that's a card that just kills me immediately if they ever draw it. So I'll just take that. Don't have don't have a lot of great stuff here. Okay, that's it. Can't do anything to stop that. Um, yep. All right, two and three. Could have been a three and two. But yeah, Cavalcade's gonna be tough for us. It's not what our deck's trying to trying to beat. All right, see how this does. Can actually cast Ashiok, but I, ideally we want to find a blue black land that we can so we can start playing Narsets and Murderous Riders. Got rid of the goose. Uh. All 
All right, a couple Brontodons in the main. Three Brontodon. Four Brontodon. I wish I could have said Trail of Crumbs. Well, I mean, obviously I could have, but they already had a Trail of Crumbs in play. So at least their their mana situation is terrible. That'll help us out. We wanted to exile lands. Three lands. Okay, I got rid of three lands. We need a, a blue black land. All right, we'll take the blue land. If you wish to surrender. keep an open mind. I leave you with Got rid of the fourth trail crumbs. My Just the trick for this. All oh, those lands. Right on schedule. No, I am not making this up as I go. Need a black mana. You. All right, got rid of three more lands over there. This is difficult to digest. No, I, I think getting rid of the cauldron familiar is the, the thing to be doing here. That's more like it. I guess I could have waited on Teferi. I guess I could have mortified the Brontodon last turn and then Teferi bounced this thing, I guess. Your nightmares remain. Yeah, this this yeah this uh, wolf's gonna be really difficult to kill. <clears throat> Especially with our mana situation. That'll work. Yep, we're praying for that to spark. Another another Ashiok would be good too, just to just to kind of power. Our milling ability. Don't worry, I got this. Behold. Yeah, those four lands. So they're down to 18 I cards in the library. Like smoke.
Unfortunately, I just don't have enough. Just don't have enough black mana. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. Ugh, that's just such a bad draw. I'll protect you. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Meditate and prepare. Second basic planes. If only I could bounce the Wicked Wolf and make them discard the Wicked Wolf. That would be nice. Such a loaded hand. Two Mayhem Devils. Just gotta have it. They just have everything. Yeah, we this this game was just because our, our black mana situation just ruined us. I mean, obviously my opponent had a really bad mana situation also, so it's not like I, you know, it's you know, it's so it's kind of similar type thing, but they got to you know, they got to draw out of theirs and Trailer Crumbs is an awesome awesome card. If if they didn't have Trailer Crumbs on 2, I definitely would have been naming Trailer Crumbs with Hone your prowess. I certainly would have named Cheryl Crumbs with uh, Unmoored Ego, not Cauldron Familiar. I need your help. They just keep on taking cards with trailer crumbs. It just makes my life easier. They're down to 11 cards in library. Trail. 
I've got time. Ideally, I, I would like to play. I'd like to play this murderous rider, but they're just gonna kill it with Golgari Queen. Got to draw Ashiox. Need to draw like two Ashiox. Back to back. We haven't found them. Narsets didn't put any into to the bottom, as far as I know. Or at least the last Narset didn't. So close. Kaya's Wrath would be good too. That'd be just fine. It's a fairy. Come on. Are you, are you gonna go? Yeah, definitely possible we should have more than one Dovin. The second basic planes really hurt. Need more black mana earlier. I know my responsibility. Here goes nothing. Yeah, these these sleeves were just they were just the they were just like available for gold after after one of the Ravnica sets after um in the store a long time ago. Planar cleansing. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. If I draw back to back, back to back Ashiox. Uh, yeah, it's probably not possible any longer. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I don't know if they're in the store or not. Whenever you buy something, it just leaves the store. So I, I can't tell you if it's still in the store or not. But they were in the store, you know, after, like, Guilds of Ravnica. So, like, a year ago. Mind and body should move in unison, like That's whenever I got them. Put thoughtfulness before action. All right, so that was it. That Narset was a great draw. It found us Ashiok, and put a bunch of non-Ashiok cards down to the bottom. I know my bottom six cards have no Ashioks now. At least the bottom six, bottom seven. So I know those three, those three, and that one. So, so that means there's 24 other cards. So there's two Ashioks and 24 cards. Oh, why a mayhem devil? Does that kill me? Hopefully that doesn't kill me. That's yeah, that's gonna kill me. 
Because then Wicked Wolf. Yep. That's just lethal. Ah, so close. Oh, I guess they were down to zero cards? Suvisak! Orzov Control Historic. Okay. Orzov Control Historic. I'll write that down for a donation deck. Orzov Control Historic. All right, I'll play that soon. Real good game. We got them down to zero cards. But unfortunately, you have to make them draw after they have zero cards. Yeah, they got all four of the, the, the Mayhem Devils. We didn't get to mill over any of the Mayhem Devils, unfortunately. Its loss will save us. Even though, yeah, they got to draw all four of them. Darn. Oh, they might have been for gems. I don't know. I don't remember what this leaves. So close. So close. Could have had like that extra black mana earlier. At some point. Yeah, if... Yeah, like my opponent... Yeah, they would have drawn a card there for something. I don't know exactly what caused them to draw a card. But yeah, the Narset kept them from drawing that last card. Oh, stop playing Mono Red. Ugh. Don't... Don't want to play against Mono Red with this deck. It's better than Grixis, though, I guess. Well, we'll see if we draw our Oath of... Okay, actually, this looks like Rakdos um, Knights, which I think I'd rather it be the Knight deck. So we'll see if we draw... Oh, that, that's gotten me before. I think they just passed the turn. Sorry, see if we draw Oath of Kaya. There we go, that's the card that... I've been trying to say over and over again here. Cool. Because, yeah, we can keep on rebouncing that with Teferi. Esper is definitely the type of deck that has a very good sideboard, too. I hope that last card's not removal. I expect it to be, though, with how 
you know, it could make sense then to have one removal spell. Alright, so if it's Bone Crusher Giant. Well, that's good. Yeah, or something like that. more like it. Oh, why don't I do that draw step? What am I doing? Do that draw step. Thank thanks, Bertas. Thank you. Alright, so it's staying at a high life total with this Othakaya. I don't know if the spark's gonna do anything. I mean, I guess um, Ember Cleave maybe. There goes an Ember Cleave. My dreams dissipate like smoke. Obviously, Kaya's Wrath is just our best possible card, uh, especially if we have this Ashiok in play. Kai's Wrath. Not yet. This isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. Hmm. So yeah, I could have bounced the Oath Sworn Knight and then they have to discard it to Riding Regisaur. But that would leave me at taking lethal. We're barely not taking lethal right now. Still haven't seen Kai's Wrath. And we, you know, Narset minus and everything. Four of them in here for a reason. I haven't seen one yet. Dang. GG's. One Kai's Wrath. The game is honestly a lot closer than what it looked.
So we went two and five. But we were we were honestly really close. It's it's kind of weird that you know like we're two and five, but we were really close to like six and one. But we were. Obviously, one of those one of those losses was just was solely because I, you know, cast on Mordigo and to take Fey of Wishes, and I just did not click the one from the library, and my opponent immediately drew it, and it cost us. Because um, then they go went and grabbed Elder Spell and killed a couple Planeswalkers, and and that was it. Um, like that was one of the losses, and then like those last two losses that we had, they were both so so close. Um, yeah, so I guess so that's so that's three. So like, really, we're like one card away in both of those last two from winning. And of course, the Fey of Wishes hiccup. If I would have done that, like so, like that two and five could have very easily been five and two. Um, yeah, I, I originally had like, yeah, I, yeah, I had two Legion Zens in here instead of Dispark Mortify, but I went with Dispark Mortify to have card to have those for, for, uh, Fires of Invention. But yeah, this would probably be better in best of three, putting a sideboard together and everything. Um, the Unmoored Egos were honestly good for us. It was actually, they're actually surprisingly good. You know, in, in a best of one format, they were surprisingly good. I liked them. You know, getting rid of those cauldron familiars was was real big. Cause obviously, that thing just keeps keeps on pinging and everything. And then, uh, obviously, if if we could have gotten rid of Fey of Wishes, it would have been nice. But, but yeah, we, I really struggled with blue and black mana. I didn't have enough blue black duels for my Narset's Murderous Riders. That was really rough. Um. Dovin was awesome. Kind of wish we had a second. But yeah, the, the basic planes, like the basic planes, is, you know, helps cast Kai's Wrath. But yeah, it was really rough with the Murderous Rider Narset, for sure. That was tough. Um, okay, so there's there's Esper Mill. So I went two and five, but. Just two draws away from a five and two, like a non miss click, and then two draws away from a five two. So, and that happens. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck. Hope you enjoyed best of one day Monday, even though we didn't have the most success today. Um, I'll try to try to bring together some uh, some decks that we'll get some positive records with tomorrow. Um, been a couple of days since we've had a positive record. Feel good about it for tomorrow. We'll I'll get I'll get some good stuff for tomorrow. Um, but that's it here for Esper Mill. So um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit that like button, all that kind of stuff. But I'll see you for the next video.